Imagine that the best player over there is in the studio of a young chap by name Sambo Fori. Just join me. Sambo, how are you? I'm fine. And congratulations fine. for making Ghana proud. Thank you very much. I mean, to win the best player in a foreign country, not in even Africa, by a foreign country, is no mean achievement. That's huge. And that's the trophy you're talking about. Yes. Okay. Quickly, tell us briefly about yourself. Who is Sambo Fori? Who, who are you? Actually, my name is Sambo Fori. I'm from Eastern Region. Mm -hmm. Uh, Odumase Krobo. Oh, okay. But I grew up in that. Oh, yes, That's what they say over yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> don't I, worry. Actually, I can't even speak the okay. language. You got it, don't worry. And I grew up in Dansuman. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a Dansuman boy. Mm -hmm. And that's where I started football my whole life from Dansuman. Okay. So, yeah, this is Samuel Ofori. Okay, actually. take us through the journey quickly. How come you got to Pakistan? Pakistan? Uh, actually, uh, uh, I was having passion when I was very little, when I was growing up. Yeah. And thanks fully be to God, I joined a lower club, like, you know, from youth level. So I got this scholarship to Datu Soccer Academy. Okay. So that's where I went to school and other things, true football. Datu's a Dansuman? Yeah, Dansuman okay. Datu. So I played for Datu's Academy. And from there, I went to, uh, to join Republicans in East Legon, Medina, and I helped them for a season. Played for Republicans? Yes. That's a huge club way back in the 60s of being told. Oh. Uh, but I think he's refined now. But you go ahead, sorry, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. so I, I joined Republicans for a season, and from there I had an opportunity to go to South Africa mm -hmm. to join Cape Town All Stars. But uh, in South Africa, there was a little problem between yeah. the club and my agent mm -hmm. back then. So uh, the contract was not given to me. So I have to move from Cape Town to Johannesburg. And I came to help this lower division called the Dolphins. They, okay. were, they were playing in the second division, which is then Muchepe uh, 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 League. And I went to play and I helped them to win the league that season. And we went to the uh, uh, playoffs, national playoffs in Mpumlanga, but unfortunately, we couldn't qualify the team to the national first division. Okay, quickly. So from there, I moved back to Ghana, and after two months, that's where I, I went to Tajikistan. Pakistan. Okay, yes. tell us life over there as a footballer. How's it like? Yeah, life over there in Tajikistan is, is good because it's a beautiful country. Okay. Yeah, it's a peaceful country. I, I haven't seen a peaceful country like that place. It's very peaceful and... Yeah, they like people. You know, sometimes as a black person, they make fun of you, but it's normal because they are getting, <laughs> they are getting, because, you know, these are some countries that it's very difficult to see black, black people going there. Yeah, yeah. So through football, now they are seeing black players over there, and I think it's a beautiful thing, and they really like people, and they are very nice people. Okay, you are a centre-back. Yeah. You, you, you play for your club. Tell us, what was it like the first time you got over there, knowing very well, okay, this is the place that, this is on Bain Europe. Yeah, actually. How was it like? Actually, before I'll, I'll get to Tajikistan, you know, my manager spoke to uh, 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 his friend who is an agent. I would love to mention their names. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, ahead. Uh, the, the, it's an agency with okay. three friends. And okay. uh, one is called Mr. Chas Nakoti. Okay. Yeah, uh, he actually, for me, I, I, use it, I call him with his nickname, which is Alaji Bello. Okay. We have the other one, which is Mr. Daniel Nia Amatigu. Okay. which is Papa Kuli, and yeah. the last one is Mr. Alan Otu, which okay. is JJ Kocha. So okay. these are the people who encouraged me. They spoke to me. They guided me before I got there. They, okay. they, they told me what everything that I will see there. So I think when I got there, I got used to the system over there. And trust me, everything was okay with me. Tell me about football in that very country. How's it like? I mean, that's a very competitive, strong... Football in that country is very competitive. It's very strong. Trust me, because this, uh, this is a type of league. It's called Vishaya Liga. This is a league where European players are playing. Okay. Players from South America are there, and Asia and African players are there. So we are all missed. So you can see how competitive this league is. Because we have players coming from Argentina, Brazil. We have players coming from Europe, like Ukraine, Russia, uh, Belarus, Uzbekistan, which is Asia. Yeah. We have a lot of players coming coming there to play and it makes the league very competitive okay very what has been your performance so far if you want to uh, i'm not the one to probably judge you but if you want to judge yourself okay. how have you performed so far since you got there i would say i have really worked very hard and i have played my all out yeah so i have really performed very well i've really performed i'm not praising myself but i i, I realized this season i have really worked hard 
Very, very, very hard. Very, very, okay. very hard. What's the position of your team? What's it called? How did you perform? Yeah, actually, last, 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 last two years, they almost went to relegation. Okay. And this year, me joining with some other black players, uh, we worked very hard to help them, and finally, after the league, we 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 emerged second on the on the league log. Very very impressive. Yes, very impressive. Okay, so during the award ceremony, which you will see on the screen pretty soon, okay, you were given this as the best foreign player over there. Yes. What was it like when your name was mentioned? Yeah, actually, when my name was mentioned, I was like, wow, because this is this is this is a league where we were having about seventy foreign players. Say again. Seventy foreign players. Okay. Players from Europe. That was, the, that, that was the moment, eh? Yeah, that was, that was the, moment. the moment. Yeah. So we have players from Europe, Asia, South America, Africa, and finally for me to grab this award, it really motivated me a lot and it, it shows how I really worked hard for what it. What did your friends, your colleagues, what would what, what I been telling you? Actually, actually, all of them, they were happy for me. They were happy for me because they, even they themselves, they know I really deserve to win such an award and you know uh one thing one one funny thing was that after all these 70 players it was only three Ghanaians who emerged to go to the top three. Oh, that's interesting yeah so this tells you what ghana carries the talent that ghana has so uh, I, when we go to the awards i met my other two Ghanaian players we were all standing together and we were very proud of ourselves and we said to each other hey if you win i will be happy for you because at the end this award is coming to ghana certainly this should motivate you to do better yes yes when you grab this on your bed most of the time footballers when they win an award the night that they win an award they put here they actually I'm, I'm going i'm going to imitate Lionel messi <laughs> <laughs> Would well, this thing put now, pressure on you to deliver better, probably? Actually, this is what is going to motivate me this season to even fight harder, to get bigger contracts. To, and I think next year by this time, I'll be coming back here maybe with an European award or something. Main European football award. Yes, 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 yes. That's the target. I always give myself a target. And when I give myself a target, I make sure I deliver. So... Yeah, that's what, this is what is motivating me now. This is what is motivating you now. Yeah, okay. anytime I wake so up. Let me ask you a quick question. Okay. What's your relationship between yourself and that, the players in your team, especially those who are not coming from that particular club? How's it like? Yeah, our relationship is okay, you know, d despite language difficulties. Yeah. Now we understand each other. Most of them are now speaking English because oh, okay. of us. Yeah, we, too, we speak the language, but although it's not that fluent, eh? fluent, but they understand because we, we blend the English with the lang uh, with the, the local language. Okay, how often do you meet Ghanaian players and talk and share ideas about Ghana football? Yeah, actually, do you yeah. motivate yourself? Do you encourage yourself that hey, we are Obi Manso? Yeah, yeah, we do that. Actually, anytime that there is a free space or there is no football. We, the, you know, because most of these guys are in the capital cities, yeah. so sometimes we go to each other's houses, and mm -hmm. s some of my friends also visit me at, mm -hmm. in my house. So, yeah, you know, this Ghana thing, we all come together and maybe we vibe together, then everybody goes back to. Okay, the aside activity. this is very trivial, tell me about this very thing. What, what, what is it? What does it represent? Yeah, this is this is this is. A medal which shows I became the second position. This is a second oh, position. Oh, okay. In medal. the league? In the league. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. So this is a silver. Okay. Silver, meaning I'm a silver medalist. Okay. In yeah, the league. as a second year in the league to help my team qualify for AFC Cup. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That should be very, very, very interesting now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What targets are you giving yourself when the season reopens again? What, try, what are you trying to achieve? What is the future for Samuel Fori? Okay, the future for Samuel Ofori. Actually, I have got a lot of offers, but I can't decide where I want to go. So everything is in the hands of my agents. As I mentioned, their name is Mr. Chasnakuti, Mr. Daniel, and Mr. Allen. They are going to sit down to decide which offer is best for Samuel Ofori. Then, yeah. Okay. Well, aside where they are playing, every player wants to come to main Europe, either yeah. France, yeah. Spain, yeah. Italy, the EP, or yeah. maybe, just maybe, yeah. Holland. Okay. Where do you want to see yourself playing football in Europe and why? Uh, actually, when I was coming up, uh, I keep saying to myself, I'll be the first Ghanaian to play Barcelona. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, I keep... That's interesting. Yes. That's a big ambition, eh? Yes, me, uh, for me, 
I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm working hard, and I know with hard work and determination and with God, I will achieve. All things achieve. are possible. All things are possible. The Spanish La Liga, by the coefficient, is one of the best in the world. Yes, yes. I that know. should be a hu huge target for you, then. Yeah, it's a huge target for me. I don't. I'm a Barcelona fan, but if Chelsea should bring an offer, that won't stop me to join in Chelsea. Because if I go to Chelsea, I'm going to still work hard to get an offer from Barcelona. That's why it's interesting. <laughs> yes. Okay. You play international football. You play as a professional football. Anytime the Ghana national team is playing, so every yeah. dream of player is to play for a national team. Yeah. Have you been dreaming about that one? Yes, I have been dreaming about it. That I would love to wear the national team jersey. You know, even back there, the, my, my, the, these white guys, they asked me, Samuel, do, do, do your national team, do they see you when you, are, are they watching your performance? I, I say, yes, they are watching me. And I know very soon I'm going to play because during this World Cup, I'm, I'm one of the type who always posts everything about Ghana on my social media. Yeah, I, have, I, I, I did hype Ghana a lot because this is the country where I'm coming from. So, yeah. The next time when you step in next year, what should we expect from you? What kind of player would you want to build for yourself? I mean, do you want the international media to focus on you as a better player? Where do you want to attack yourself within the next year? Within next year, the, you know, next year, Next year, 2024, I know 2024, it will be a, another different story and it will, be a, it will be a bigger one than this one. So, yeah, I know, I know the media is going to follow, they are going to monitor me. And <laughs> I'm also ready for them, yeah. <laughs> so the target is this year, I know no matter what, I'll be called to the national team. I'm just saying, I'll be called, so yeah. I like your confidence. No, me, I always work with confidence. I, I, actually, my second name is Confidence. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is Sports World. My name is Phil John Quartin. and I'm in a silver gentleman known as Samo Fori. Just uh, um, being awarded as the best player in the Kazakhstan League. Quite interesting. This is the trophy he made for himself, best foreign player. And also, and also he won the silver medal in the league, brought in all these medals, hoping to be part of the national team pretty soon. Okay. Sami, back here in Accra, I'm sure you have a lot of friends and family members. What have they been telling you regarding your football career and what they hope for you to achieve for yourself? I actually, and, and I'm sure that should be a, some sort of form of a motivation for you. Yes, yes, because when my family, when I came back to Ghana, when they, they were really proud of me, my friends were really proud of me, they sent me messages, some also came to meet me, and they, they, told, they gave me an encouraging words, and I think I really did well. And you know, I also make I, I also did Dansoman proud. So yeah, DC. So, DC proud. Yeah. Okay. Because you are in a foreign land playing for Kazakhstan uh, in the league. How do you compare the league over there? And that I'm sure you have you seen what goes on in Ghana. In the Ghana. How do you compare the league? Uh, actually, for now, I will say Ghana league is good, nice, but. You know, in terms of the white man's league, in terms of infrastructure and facilities, yeah. facilities and this, yeah, I'll say for now, they are ahead of us. <laughs> and in terms of the players coming from other countries playing in such league, I think, yeah. So, I mean, thank you very much for passing through. You, I'm sure you, you have your final much. word for your fans. You want to say anything to them, your final yeah, words for yeah, them? Yeah, actually, I would love to say a very big thank you to each and everyone who supported me, who helped me, who pushed me, even if you use your one CD to support me, I just want to say a very big thank you to you. And God bless you all. And to all my fans who are always disturbing me on my Facebook page, I want to say thank you very much. I love the way you guys supported me. God bless you all. And, my, and to my pastor, Pastor Kojo Ususafo. Yeah. Which church is that? It's Christ and Basi Dansuman. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would love to say a very big thank you to him. You know, he has been praying for me. And yeah, so I'm really grateful to that. Well, Sammy, thank you very much. Hope you did that by the next time you step here. Bigger, bigger, bigger things are happening to you in your life. Sure, thank you very much for passing Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, this has been today's edition of Sports Direct. My name is Fayou John Quarter. Remember that 19 hours CMC comes in news tonight. Everything you see in Ghana, Africa, and the rest of the world will be said to you at 19 hours CNT. Second stay with Metro TV. My name is Phil John Quarte. New Year, like I always say, love life and never, ever forget your living God. Good evening.